Dear colleagues and friends, it gives me great pleasure to welcome all participants to this humanitarian diplomacy course. As the world's largest humanitarian network, the IFRC with its 192 member National Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies and 14 million volunteers work to shed light on suffering that may not be in the headlines. We rally governments, civil society and communities to lend a helping hand to the most vulnerable people who face the biggest challenges of our time like extreme climate disasters, COVID-19 and other disease outbreaks and migration. National Red Cross and Red Cross societies play an important role in advocating with their governments, local authorities, as well as domestic and international partners to ensure that the most vulnerable have access to healthcare, sanitation, food, shelter, care, safety and protection. This saves lives, builds resilience and brings hope and dignity. Humanitarian diplomacy is about making a difference in the lives of the most vulnerable. It is about being at the decision-making tables and strengthening our privileged relationships with government. It is about challenging and changing mindsets based on fundamental principles with the ultimate goal of helping those who are most in need. IFRC is glad to see that the Humanitarian Diplomacy course continues to bring in participants from around the world and that staff from the IFRC Secretariat, national societies and other humanitarian organizations continue to find it valuable. Graduates now total almost 450 people who receive a wealth of knowledge and experience from the course and its participants who hail from 117 countries and different professional backgrounds bring great diversity and contextual awareness. For our part, the IFRC is supporting interested national society volunteers and staff around the world to scale up their humanitarian diplomacy skills and strategies through this course and through a number of other initiatives, including the Disaster Law Program. We hope that you will stay in touch with us afterwards so we can benefit from your new knowledge and expertise. I encourage you all to contribute to the strength and growth of this humanitarian diplomacy course with your knowledge, skills and expertise. For all of us here today, Engaging in humanitarian diplomacy is not a choice, but a responsibility. Thank you.